Hello everyone and welcome back to RimWorld Alpha 16 and to the town of Medusa's Raft where uh, Ayano, an officer from a glitter world, has just joined us and I think is throwing up all over our potatoes. Ah, what, a, what an interesting start to your uh, time here at the colony. But if we have a look at Ayano's work orders, we can see that Ayano has pretty much got a massive focus on art and various high skill um, jobs. Though, bearing in mind there are some that she isn't going to be able to do because some of them require researching. Oh no, she does have researching. You know what, I'm going to increase that up to a priority two for her because if she doesn't have these jobs to do, then research is a good one because I want her skills to improve with that. Now. Ayano has whispered into my ear that she would rather not be known as Ayano. Ayano was her slave name. And now that she is here in the freedom of Medusa's Wrath, the, the true freedom, the freedom that says you can even eat people if you want to, she would like to take another name, and that name is Dewdrop. Welcome to the colony, Dewdrop. Long may your visit here be productive. Uh, right, you are actually retreating. You are not feeling too well. You're going back. You want to you wanna rest because you got food poisoning. That's fine. You can also have this bed. Oh, there you go. Now then, we've got many, many things that we need to do. Uh, right now, these rooms, uh, you know, they're not terrible, but they're not particularly bright either. I'd actually like it if we get a little bit more lights in these rooms. Perhaps something along the lines of this. There you go. Dark Avax room can remain dark because it seems fitting for Dark Avax room to be dark. Uh, down here we are probably going to be waiting for a little while. I've, I've marked a few places for components to be gathered. I'm not worrying too much about the lightning strikes because ultimately they're going to just uh, put themselves out with, with rainwater. Uh, the next thing I would like to look into... Well, it's going to take us a little while to get all of that done, I suspect. How much fertilizer do we have? We actually do not have enough currently, but we do have quite a lot that is close to being ready. We've managed to partially fertilize two new fields. There, there we go. Those, those rooms are quite nicely lit now, I would say. Alright, well, the next thing for us, I don't believe that we can do any kind of more advanced prosthetics at the moment. No, that's a bit of a, a, bit of a shame. I think the next thing we really need to focus on is getting components. That's a super, super high priority for us right now. Because without that, we are actually going to be in a bit of trouble sooner rather than later. So I'd rather focus that right now than not. Uh, let's go also make sure this room is forever roofed. And also these ones. You don't really need to do this, but I like to. Uh, there we are. Now, in this episode, I'm thinking that we... Ooh, make sure fuse is broken down. Well, that's a horrible thing to break. We're going to continue on our defenses a little bit. Now, I know I do intend to get to trading very, very soon. But at the moment, it is a little bit more complicated. Because we are entering winter. We're on the second of fall. And we need a lot of food before we can go out. So I'm hoping to gather a lot of food first. But it's, it's a slow slog. We, we need to get on that a little bit sooner. We're currently waiting on the cooking simple meals. We do not have much in the way of food right now to help with that. Perhaps we should go out and slaughter a couple more animals. Uh, there's quite a few down here, though. I wouldn't want to wipe out the whole all of the Ubix. That would be a bit of a bad move, in my opinion. Are there any other large groups of animals? Uh, there's... Quite a few up there, actually, that we could go and go and take out. Yeah, okay, let's get a little group together. Now, Dewdrop, I need you to have a better weapon. Uh, a peeler might be nice. I mean, you're fairly accurate, so sure. Okay, you grab the peeler. There we go. And from now on, you're going to be coming with me. So let's get you out there. I'd also like Balthazar here. I would like Sleepy Joe there as well. And, um, Jaradan. Let's get you all, all four of you out here. We're going to go and kill a couple of Ibix. And you're all going to carry one back each. And then once we've got all of that, actually, let's just make sure. Animals, please don't follow us into combat. That's just silly. Uh, nope. Let's get all of you gone. If there are any with bombs, then I'm going to make them... Ma the, I'm going to allow them to be mastered with their um, bonded animal. But other than that, no. Right, there we go. Let's get out there. We need to slay all of these majestic beasts. There we are. And attack. There we go. One down. Almost. We're only going to take out four. And uh, take this one, please. Well done. And uh, sure, now I'll take this one. 
Sorry, Alpaca, but it has to happen. It doesn't really, but I want it to happen. I mean, it would be very good for us if it happened, basically. There we go, and then we'll just finish you off as well. Right, okay, so all of these are now ours. Let's make sure. I would like you to haul the Alpaca back. Dewdrop, you can haul the Ibex back. Jaradan, you can haul that one. And Balthazar, you can haul this one. There we go. That should be a decent bit. Oh, oh, did I just tell you? Please tell me I didn't. <gasps> Cancel. I told her to eat it. How terrible. Ate the corpse. No. <laughs> Dewdrop, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Dewdrop can't carry things. It's not something she does. <laughs> Well, you know what? Maybe that'll help with you. It's, it's a traditional cure. Dark Abba uh, whispered in Dewdrop's ear. Yeah, I know. Food poisoning. Eat raw bodies. 100% cure. 100% of the time. He may have been fibbing. Uh, right. Okay. <laughs> Oops. Uh, we're going to continue this out. I want this to be a fairly long corridor. Just to separate the attack waves a little bit more for us. Uh, furthermore, then, I want to carry on the... Fire break all the way up. And we will have sandbags moving along. Now, we're going to have a trap corridor over here. But it's going to be a different kind of trap corridor that I usually make. Uh, so hopefully it'll work out well for us. Uh, let's make sure all of these are being hauled, please, and thank you. Uh, for now, I'm not going to build up the, the expanded dormitory just yet. Right now, I, I'd like to focus... On just keeping this room set up. And just having a, a nice room down here. We'll have a light there. Maybe we could have two freezers or something uh, around on either side. Have we got any any artworthy things? This is normal, made by Dewdrop. Title Portrait 3. On this carving is an artwork of Jaradan working on Basic Fuse's research project alone at his bench. Jaradan is sweating. There is a town behind the focal point. The work suggests the concept of a utopia. This portrayal tells the story of Jaradan finishing research on Basic Fuses. How marvellous. Where is this going to go? It's going to go in Jaradan's room. It was going to go in the guest room. But no, no, it's going to go in Jaradan's room. There you go, Jaradan. Enjoy. Uh, you know what? I think Jaradan needs something else in his room. How about we get him... Yeah. What What do we got? We got boomalope leather? I think we do. Yes. So, boomalope leather. Nope. Go away. I want that. Um, how about there? I'm going to give you a tiny little table for you to sit at. There you go, Jaradan. This should not be a gathering spot. There we go. That should be good. And the art should eventually move down there if indeed it is art that you are making. Uh, no, it's probably a, a, a plant pot, honestly. That's fine. Balthazar's going to work on some more things there. How are you feeling? Gunshot room in your leg. Oh, were you actually shot out and about? Well, that would be unfortunate, wouldn't it? My oh, lord. Uh, have we managed to get any more food? Not strictly. Not strictly. Uh, cook fine meals is okay for now. You know what, I'm actually going to reduce the fine meals down to 20. I don't think Dark Abbott needs more than that for the time being. And uh, I'm going to reduce... Yeah, we'll leave that at 10, that's fine. Mostly I just want uh, simple meals, honestly, right now. The, the rest of the colony needs food more than Dark Abbott does by a fairly large margin. There we go. Dewdrop's mood. Eh, it's kind of hovering there. It's not getting any better, at the very least. Which is a shame, to be sure. Now, we got this little area set up. At this point... I would like to draw out, uh, we'll go for 10 on either side, about there, and we'll have it too wide. Same along here. I'll have these just the lout crops there, just for looks. And then floors, continue with the concrete. I'll bring the concrete up there, and over here as well. Same on this side. Just again, for a little bit of a fire break. And something like that. And here, we can have paved tiles on either side. Now, going through this area... Um, sure, actually, concrete will do. Doesn't really matter, all things said and done. Let's get that set up. We will, however, make this a roofed area. Along there. A little, little, little deadly tunnel. 
that then emerges down here. We'll do the same on this side as well. Make it all dark and foreboding. I think that'll work well. Oh, we've got different tiles there, do we? Stone... Ah, slate slabs. Okay. Well, we'll match that along here. So, slate slabs going up. There we are. And in that case, you know what we're going to do? We are going to change this to slate paving. Oh, that makes it even more dark and foreboding. I like it. I like it a lot. Damn, this is good. All right, let's get all of that sorted, please. It'll take a little while, but it'll be good once you've got it done. All right, what have we got? Minor break risk. Yeah, Dewdrop, Dewdrop is having a rough time, to be fair. Dewdrop is having a rough time. Hopefully she enjoys working on art, and that, that'll give her a bit of a mood boost, hopefully. Joy filled, decent bedroom, very impressive dining room, luxuriantly comfortable. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. Now, there we go. Things are coming along. I'm liking the work that everyone is doing. Okay. Now, we may as well get a little bit more steel dug out of this little area back here. There we are. We're also carrying more of the uh, stone blocks away, which is good. Uh, let's see. Now, oh, we've got it. It's finally built. How glorious. Time to research. Multi-analyzer, please. That is the most important thing for us to get right now, because that is our key. With the multi-analyzer, we'll then be able to start looking into... Ooh. Uh, we'll then be able to start looking into getting some um, components built ourselves, which is a big, big thing for us. Yoko has gone food poisoning from human meat. Damn it, those bloody poisonous humans. Poor Yoko. Dark Abak has named him a flow three. Murderous. After being nuzzled. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to need a new place for a muffalo. This is glorious. Muffalo 3 is now murderous. Um, are you bonded? You're not bonded. But that is lovely. Oh, Dark Avax naming, naming scheme is appropriate for Dark Avax. Not sure what to say on that one. But uh, uh, let's see. We want some more paving along here, I would say. Oh, that isn't quite where we want paving there. Let's not put paving there, shall we? Thank you. There we go. If we do have paving there, it'll probably be wood. I'm thinking. For now, we're probably using up a lot of our slate bricks in just getting this area prepared. It's going to be quite nice, I think. We will also have torches, naturally. But there'll be torches on the inside. It'll, it'll give this oppressive, oppressive feeling to this corridor. Not only will it be... It'll, it'll be dark, but it'll be... Gloomy, the, the occasional torchlight just kind of illuminating the, 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 the darkened walls. Some of them, you know, odd metallic, metallic y smell hanging in the air. You think you can see red on the walls, but you can't be sure because the light is too bad. The, the yellowy torchlight could be tricking your mind, but you're, you're fairly certain that there's red stains here and there. And of course, the torch will be be pluming smoke out as well so not only will will it look oppressive it will feel oppressive as they're walking down there they, their lungs will feel heavy with the oppression of this death corridor and then by the time they realize why it will be too late ah i love rimworld i love the mods that give me more more ability to be creative with how it looks though uh you would be forgiven for thinking that perhaps i get a little bit too into it i probably do uh, we'll actually put a tile there just to separate that a little bit. Okay, I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. We need a little bit more steel dug out, though. Uh, let's go for that. There we go. Dewdrop and Jaradan uh, should be working together in here, which would be grand. There we are. Let's continue to get all of that ready. We'll probably get some of this dug out and moved up there. Ooh, we've already stored a piece of artwork. It's poor quality art, but let's have a look at it, shall we? Hardship with Sleepy Joe. This carving bears an illustration of an alpha beaver being hunted by Marty Sleepy Joe Stevens as the alpha beaver eats. The alpha beaver seems totally oblivious. The smiling head of a father watches over all. The overall composition is unbalanced. This represents, uh, representation relates to Sleepy Joe's successful hunt on the 9th of summer. Mm, I'm tempted to give that to someone. How much does it improve a room? 23. Quite tempted, actually. What is Sleepy Joe's room like? Let's have a... Oh, that's not what I wanted. Let's have a look at this room. Uh, rather tight. It's pretty clean, mediocre, and slightly impressive. You know what? Sure. I think we'll get... Well, those plants are actually really lovely. 
Also, I really need to get rid of that that thing there. Although that's helping out a lot with the... Ah! Go away! Go away! Deconstruct! You cursed item, you! Oh, that's it. It's gone. We're not even going to keep it. I was going to say, it does help with, with things, but no! Cursed. Cursed. Uh, everything else is going okay. We're slowly getting through all of these items, which is grand. I'm liking that a lot, in fact. Uh, let's get rid of this. Have we gotten rid of this room? Is this no longer a storage area? Good. Dark Havoc is named Muffalo for Wendy. After being loved. Okay. Uh, hmm. Going with Dark Havoc's personality and general theme, what must Wendy have done to Dark Havoc? Or what must Dark Havoc was this Wendy doing? Perhaps Wendy was, a, was an earlier accomplice who, who shared the same feeling of limitation due to society's mores and morals. Hmm. This Wendy, an interesting character, no doubt. Perhaps we will find a Wendy in the colony at some later date. Right, you get this to permanently remind you. And it seems that that's Sleepy Joe's side of the bed as well, which is kind of cool. Right, okay, we're fixing all sorts of things. Let's make sure that this is sorted out. Uh, I wouldn't mind getting another workbench in there, actually. It would be quite cool. How's this going? Ah, glorious. Glorious, glorious, glorious. And you know what? We're going to pop in a little bit of something right about here. We'll have a single torch. Single torch. Just just driving people into this area. It's going to be great. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Uh, right. What are people doing? Oh, right. Yeah, you're working on there. That's pretty cool. Good, good, good. We've got... We are actually limited by the amount of bricks that we've got at the moment. And Dewdrop has made... Title 7 by Dark Havoc. Dark Havoc's getting a lot of, a lot of uh, stuff about him at the mo this moment. This piece bears a representation of a solitary tailor. A builder pose, uh, poses behind the focal point, while the style is amateurish, yet attractive, with Romanesque elements. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, well, that one can be installed. Um, I could put it in there, but... I'm tempted to put it elsewhere, actually. Uh, let's see, where could I put this? There's actually a load of rooms where that would make sense to go. I think we're going to get rid of whichever one. Of, that's normal. What one's this? That's poor. Okay, well, that one's gone then. And we'll install that in Dark Avax room. There we go. How's everything going up here? Oh, that looks, that looks good. That looks positively medieval. I like it. I like it a lot. Everything is going to plan. As soon as that gets gone, we'll move that plant pot down there. Thank you very much. Let's get this installed. And that should make that room even nicer. Please don't be using that as a gathering spot. Jaradan is not going to be particularly pleased with that, I'm fairly certain. Uh, th again, these areas around here are going to be saved for freezers eventually. So we can have a couple of like plants and stuff in there if we really want to. Ooh. Insect jelly. Good to get. Very good to get. One of your machines, wooden electric tailing bench, broke down. That's fine. Now, with the multi analyzer, let's go and have a look. How much is this going to cost to build? I'm worried that we're not going to have the minions for it. Oh, we do! It costs 20. Is that how much gold do we have? We've got 30. Oh, fantastic. We were right to keep that hold of that for so long. Okay, right. We need some plasteel, so let's go ahead and mine that out. We don't need much. That's more than we need, but I want a little bit of extra because I want to see what the difference is between plasteel and steel. I'm fairly certain that the difference isn't enough for us to care about it. But I'm going to be having traps in here, and whilst stone traps will be easy to build because we've got so much stone, steel traps are about twice as dangerous as stone traps. And in addition, though it depends on the stone a little bit, but in addition, plasteel is probably better Again, let's actually have a look. Have you uncovered any plasteel yet? Because the moment you have uncovered some, I can have a look at it. Oh, dead rat. Oh, that's not good. Uh, let's see. Jaradan, have you almost finished that? Because as soon as you have, then I can check that out. And there we go. Right. Good. Now, security. Let's have a look at the deadfall trap. A wooden one has got an 80% chance of tripping and does 18 damage. Not particularly good. Sandstone blocks. 30 damage, so it's it's a little bit under twice, but, you know, that's that's pretty good. 80% chance of trip. And I don't know if that ever changes. Slate blocks, 36, slightly more dangerous, so it's a bit heavier, I guess. Marble, 36 again, okay. Um, if we have a look, let's just check out silver. 
Uh, 30. Yeah, you know, silver is heavy. Gold, probably the same, yeah. Oh no, a lot less, I guess, because it, uh, I'm not actually sure why. Uh, steel, though, let's check you out. 60. That's a lot of damage. And it requires 70 steel per, but what about plasteel? Requires 70 plasteel. 72. Um, I mean, it would be good, but I don't think it's worth it for just an increase in 12 damage. I think steel is more than enough for us. Question is, how much steel do we have? Uh, I cannot easily see. I really do wish that... Uh, I'll, I'll set that up in the ne before the next episode so that my inventory is kind of uh, shown a little bit better. In fact, we can probably do that here. Let's go to options. Uh, I think it's shown in here. Uh, see, true storyteller, show animal names, developer, no, no, we don't want that. Uh, helper, resolution cursor, blah, 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 blah. There used to be an option in here, I'm fairly certain. Running background screen, edge, pause and load, pause, show real time clock, plant, wind, sway, yeah, that's fine. It doesn't seem to be there. Okay, well, I'll have to have a look around elsewhere then. But there is an option that, that will allow you to basically condense all of this sort of stuff. Oh, there we are. 317 right there. Uh, Dewdrop filled while constructing slate blocks. That's fine. We've got enough to build a few. And the way we're going to build them... Now, we could have them alternating. I'm not sure if they can walk through that, which worries me a little bit. So perhaps what I'll do instead... And build it there because they can definitely zigzag then. Now I could build them apart so there's plenty of room to zigzag or I could build them closer together. I'm not sure which is necessary. We'll just build two for now and we'll see how that goes. But I'm fairly certain that they can just zigzag. Our colonists will just go up, 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 up but the enemy won't know to and they'll just walk through a bunch of them. And so we'll, we'll do a little bit of extra damage as they're getting in here. Once this is filled with traps, it's going to be quite deadly approaching this from the north. Uh, from the south, we'll leave it as is. But uh, in here, it'll be quite, quite dangerous. Quite dangerous indeed. Now, I'm thinking maybe some more bedrooms. In fact, we could add in a couple more rooms right there if we particularly wanted to. We've got the multi-analyzer all set up. So the next thing for us is components assembly. Now, this is going to take us a long time to do, but is massively important for us to do. Uh, the last thing I wouldn't mind getting done is actually... Do we have the machining bench sorted out? Do we even... Are we even close to that? No, we're ways off getting that, and it would take components to build anyway. So we're going to be waiting on that one a little bit. But I think that's a good wrapping up point for this episode. We are going to be heading out... Um, Ah, you know what? It's taking so long to get through fall. But it is going to take us longer to move on the world map whilst in fall. In winter, it's going to be positively treacherous to do. But perhaps instead of just going straight down there, we could go down here and the unification of Choco. Ah, no, we're not going to be able to do that then. That's a bit of a shame. Um, see, it's going to be rough traveling that far. Blue Hill Concord... Grey River Covenant. We could go down there, meet with them, head over there. No, it would probably be a lot faster if we just went down there. You see, we've got to travel across these areas. In fact, yeah, we're going to have to move across the hills no matter what we do. So that's going to take a little bit of time. Getting down there and then over these hills in. Which, ooh, dear. Won't be too hard for us to do. You know what? Sure. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to prep a caravan shortly. I was really worried about going in, in uh, autumn, but it's taken us so long to move through autumn. We've got enough time to do it, I think. Where's the infestation? Oh, wow. Jaradan, your room. How unfortunate. <laughs> We're going to need to deal with that one. Okay, well, that is going to be in the next episode, though. Thank you very much for joining me for this one, though. I hope you have enjoyed and will be joining me for the next. As ever, remember to like if you liked, sub if you haven't, and I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone.